Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know about Card's theorem and then will provide a proof to it. So, uh, to begin with, let us consider a circle of the form this. And um, let I take the center of the circle to be O and the diameter of the circle, which I write over here, is uh, denoted by T. Then I consider a point P on the circle and another point Q on the same circle and I join point P and Q to each other to describe this segment and this segment is called chord. Now this chord divides the circle into two arcs. One we call minor arc and the other I call major arc. So the major arc is from Q to P and the minor arc is from Q to P, this one. And this is the major arc. Now, I consider a ninth point R in the major arc and join point R to point P and then simultaneously I join this to point Q. The angle at point R I denote with theta. Then the chord theorem state that the length of the chord PQ equals diameter times sine of the angle theta. Now obviously the point R is an arbitrary point and you can take that anywhere over the major arc R. You can take this anyway and anywhere over the minor arc. For example, had I taken R on the minor axis at this position like this and I have chimed P to R and then R to P, then this is an angle which is different than theta and uh, one can prove and there exist proofs that whether I take point R in the minor arc or in the major arc irrespective of the position of R, the uh, Kors theorem holds. So um, it is. Um, it doesn't make any difference whether we are taking R at this position or anywhere in the major arc or anywhere in the minor arc. With that said, I remove this part, and now I consider another point S and the uh, same major arc, and uh, such that the line joining P in S passes to the center of the circle that is PS is also a diameter. Then I join S to point Q and uh, construct another triangle PQS. Now uh, triangle PQS is in fact an S striped triangle because it lies in the semicircle defined by the PS which I shared over here. So the triangle PQS lies in this semicircle. And uh, for inscribed triangle, we know that the angle PQS is equal to 90 degree. That is the angle PQS is in fact 90 degree and I write this word here. So the angle PQS is 90 degree. Furthermore, the triangle P, Q, R and triangle P, Q, S. P, Q, S. These two triangles describes the same minor arc and uh, therefore the angles at R is congruent to the angle at S. That is, I can write that the angle P, R, Q is congruent to angle P is Q and they are equal to theta. So I can write the thing, the, the angle S is theta. Then uh, we can solve the triangle PQS because we know about the, uh, uh, the length of PS which is equal to diameter and we know about two angles. One is 90 degree and the other is theta. So the triangle PQS is in fact a right angle triangle whose three uh, aspects are known to us. That is two angles are known and one side is known. Therefore, I can solve this triangle 
and we can recognize that the side P Q S is in fact base of this triangle. P Q is the perpendicular of this triangle and P S is the hypotenuse. That is in triangle P Q S the side Q S corresponds to base. P Q is the perpendicular of the triangle and P S is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Now, uh, using the definition of cosine functions, we can write that the ratio of perpendicular to the hypotenuse equals sine of theta. And I can arrange this equation to write this as PQ equals PS times sine of theta. And PS is this side which is equal to diameter of the circle. Therefore, I replace PS with D. And I can write this as d times sine of theta. And if I want to express d in terms of radius, then I can write d equal to 2 times radius. Here I am writing r for radius is equal to sine theta. That is, I can write that the chord's length equals 2 times radius times sine of the angle theta. And uh, this, in fact, is called the chord's theorem. So the chord's theorem says that the chord's length equals 2 times radius of the circle times sine of the angle theta, and where theta corresponds to any point either on the minor arc or the major arc, like I can take this here, here, or anywhere else. So at the end, if you haven't yet subscribed to Safi Mixed, kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the like button on the video. Thanks for watching.